I absolutely love that video, by the way. I want to party right now with you guys <laughs> while you're playing. Now, are these mostly your friends, or or how did you? There's one friend in there. She's wearing a Letterman jacket. Yeah. And <laughs> for like the split second, they show. How it. appropriate. Yeah. How appropriate. You guys were doing Letterman. So, um, okay. So another single from the album I want to talk about is New York City Moves to the Sound of L.A. And that, I, that is definitely one of the most anthemic songs of the album. And I love the lyric, you know, New York City loves to mess around with the L.A. sound, which is true. It's true. It's all right. <laughs> I mean, how, 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 did that, how did you guys come up with that song, that idea? Uh, the, well, m like most of our songs, they kind of just come naturally. I mean, really, we, we always go in the studio and just jam. There's never really a preparedness for like writing a song. We, we'll kind of like be like, yeah, let's write a new song, but it will just be like, okay, what do you have? Like, just throw something down. Let's start playing. Like, just play a beat. Like, you know, and it'll just come out. And but the uh, the title isn't actually like the song doesn't mean like what the title says. So you don't think there's some sort of rivalry between the two coasts? I mean, there was <laughs> there was in hip hop, yeah. you know. Yeah. And you know maybe in rock and roll there could be, but um, not with not, this song. Not, I mean, that wasn't all. the that wasn't the idea behind it though. No, no, yeah. no way. I don't no. know why we, we I picked New York to kind of pick at you know. I don't know. It's just being a brat, I guess. We could take it. If you're gonna yeah. pick on New York, we could take it. Bring exactly. it. Exactly. That's right. That's why I did it. Bring it. I said, I said um, it has a better sound than saying like London moves to the sound of LA. That's true. It originally was Cincinnati, but yeah, it just not as hot. Nice. Orlando, not as <laughs> maybe. You gotta pick a top city here. All right, tell me more. You're talking about it a little bit, James, about the songwriting process. Like, how do you guys come up with the music? That one Is kind it case of flowed out basis? naturally. Okay. Actually, that one kind of just um, we were just jamming out, and then whatever came to like mind that day, we all just had a few ideas, and it just flowed out clean. I think it started out with the uh, the cowbells. We were we were listening to a, a LCD sound system at yeah. that time, like a lot, and yeah. so we were like heavy heavy on the cowbell on this, you know. Just it always comes back to a cowbell. One yeah. particular day, yeah. yeah. I say cowbell and gang vocals. <laughs> Two of my favorite things about music. <laughs> um, let, so on this album, you worked with producer Lars Stalfers, who I know from Mars Volta, and that's, yeah. that's actually how you guys started working with him, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, he was interning for them before, or interning for the studio they eventually were working at, and um, we met him in a backyard. He used to play in a band. And he was in the whole scene with us, mm -hmm. and uh, he came up to us, he was like, you know, I've been in the scene for a little while, and I've never even seen you guys. Like, who are you? Where did you come from? And, you know, we were like, oh, we're from Whittier, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, cool. He's like, well, I'm interning at this place. I want to record you guys if you guys are down. And cool. that's where the relationship started. That's great. Nice. And I had read somewhere that he actually recorded each one of you guys in isolation, so you, the whole band wasn't even together for most of the process. Yeah. Is that yeah. the case? Yeah. 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 It was kind of by choice, too. Yeah, I mean... I kind of really liked not having too many people in, you know, like telling me this or that. It's kind of like we already had the songs written anyways, and it was just like we go in there and do it. But I mean, the next one will be all together and stuff mm. like that. It's just we wanted to see, you know, For just sure. wanted to experiment. Well, it's a process. <laughs> I mean, this first album really, it really came out great, and I have it right here, actually, guys. The Golden Age of Nowhere is available everywhere now. Guys, pick it up, I'm telling you. Chad, James, and Chemo, guys, thank you so much for coming by and talking to me. Love having you here. <laughs>